TV Microwave, Lucy's Lab, and Terror in Brussels. I'm I.C. Davidson, and this is the Low Definition Moment. The reviews are in, and it's that time of the year where you've got to pay your taxes. Do it, and do it right. They're after your money. Try to keep it to yourself. Thank you for tuning in. This is the Low Definition Moment. I'm I.C. Davidson. Thank you again. This is on the Think Tech Hawaii Network. Check out the stuff that's going on here. Thanks for watching. What is the low definition moment, you're probably asking. It is the moment in time between that Think Tech show and this Think Tech show. And have you seen Viva Hawaii yet? That show is great. Turn, tune in every, every week. You'll see them. It's good stuff. You'll enjoy it a lot. Um, let's go. What, are you gonna, what am I going to talk about today? It's been a while, like two weeks. Yeah, it's been two weeks, I think, that I've been here. I've got a lot to talk about. I'm going to talk about an ice cream shop in Kaka'ako. I'm going to talk about a local band, and I'm going to say something about the terror in Brussels. But before I do that, I do need to talk about what's news. And what's news here in Hawaii, at least, is the presidential preference poll. I don't know why they call it. Oh, I do know why. You should really Google what's happening here tomorrow or this weekend. Uh, tomorrow. Um, the mayor on uh, Hawaii Island indicted for some stuff that I think is not a big deal. And a whole lot of other stuff. Uh, the new rail car has come. I'm really excited about that. They said a few weeks or something. I will get to see that. And uh, that's about it in here. Terror is everywhere. Uh, let's get into the first thing. It's what to eat Hawaii, not what to he eat Hawaii on Twitter. I went to Lucy's Lab Creamery, I should stop looking at that, and had some ice cream. It's out there in Kaka'ako behind Ward Warehouse and McKinley on that sort of thing. They do ice cream, and you should check them out. Um, I, liked, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I, the reason why you're only seeing that is because I ate the ice cream before I could take a picture of it. And I know everybody says that, but it's true. I ate the ice cream, and it was really good. It was like some vanilla vodka thing that they do, these little sandwich things. I went all out. I had to eat it. It was good, really good. Uh, parking is interesting over there, but they'll figure that out once Ward looks really cool. Moving on, if check them out on, on Twitter right there. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's move on. Um, I want to talk about something that I noticed online a few days ago, and now I, I saw that it was in the newspaper today. This um, law that has been put in effect to something to do with tipping and how that stuff's done. And this, re this receipt right here is making its, ra its rounds on the internet right now. And it's a concerning the kitchen 5% service fee. Apparently there's some law that has to deal with uh, how tips are allotted, et cetera. And apparently the, the allotment, the traditionary 5% or whatever that goes to the kitchen staff is no lo longer legal. So this it, company or restaurant here company has decided to just tack on that 5% there and um, they're all over the newspaper. I blacked out who they are because I like going there and I don't want to feel like I'm basing on them but you can check in the newspaper today. Their name is all there, not out there and they seem pretty proud of it. We're talking about lawyers and why it's okay. Um, it seems odd like you know just charge me more to eat your food and make it better so that I will want to pay that money for it instead of just putting it on there and making us feel bad for not tipping or whatever. Now, needless to say, if you see me in there, I'm going to tip the traditional amount. I'm not going to feel like the, all of that because I like the food there. But it's weird. I hope it doesn't start happening everywhere. It's going to be bothersome for me. OK, moving on. I had the opportunity to uh, talk about a while ago on the show this grant band called Poncho. They're on this uh, record label here locally called Field Orbit. Um, I stumbled into a small sort of party that was occurring uh, this past week, a uh, couple weekends ago, and and I enjoyed myself a lot. A lot of 40s, a lot of other stuff. It was an inflatable thing. Um, I've got a CD from them, and I think you guys should check it, check them out. Uh, Failed Orbit. There's this band called uh, TV Microwave. One of the hosts of this party that I was out was on this band, so I thought I'd share a little bit of that with that with you guys. Let's take a little taste from their website. Here's a track I don't know the name of.
<laughs> the microwave. Um, thanks, sorry, that was rad. Um, the little thing of everything's rad. Uh, TV microwave, local punk rock band. I love it. Punk rock is still alive here locally. I don't know about the crowd, and I'm too old to go check them out, but the party was fun. Let's take another look at some of their stuff. It looked like this was some live thing that had something to do with this, I think. <laughs> inflatable things, all these kind of things were occurring that night, it was wild. I had dig these cats a lot, TV microwave, and everybody basically on this Failed Orbit Records is awesome. Um, check them out, you see the stuff down there. Support local bands if you're in Hawaii, and if you're not, check them out, you'll like them a lot. They've got a lot to offer, let's move on. Um, if you've been watching this show, you know I've been talking about that Apple stuff, and apparently the FBI thinks they figured out a way to break the case or whatever, which is cool because I've been ranting and raving about why can't they. And so maybe our message has um, resonated. Thanks for spreading that message. We'll keep you updated on that in further shows. But at this point, it's a joke because the new Apple phone has come out. So all of that is old news, right? OK. Oh, this is the low def moment part when I talk about something. And this week, I thought I would talk about the terrorism in Brussels, but in a different way. What really trips me out is the moment something like this happens, and I hope this is not bad, but this, this happens, it, the, the talk here in America is like, why are, what we did wrong here in America. Like, it's our responsibility to keep uh, the world safe from this terrorism that's happening. Nobody is really talking about what it's like to be in, in those countries that this full-blown terror is happening on a what seems to be a regular basis now, it goes on. You know, there are, these people are subjugated. Here in America, we get these crazies that do it, but we have people in, a, in the rest of the world that are pushed to the point to where they, all they really can do is blow themselves up. Now, that, like, with that said, I'm not saying that that's a cool thing, but you really have to look at that. What are we doing to keep people from wanting to blow themselves up, not how are we keeping people from blowing themselves up? here in America and worldwide. We really need to face that. And once we figure that out, maybe we can move on behind this craziness. But until then, yeah. <laughs> All right, this has been a low definition moment. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy the next show coming up, what it is. Be sure to follow Think Tech Hawaii all over the place on all the social networks, Think Tech HI, Facebook, all of that stuff. Search us out. If you're interested in submitting a, a um, track or something to the show, a video, uh, go ahead and go to lowdefmoment.com and you can submit your submission there. It's really quick. You might get on TV. I was told I was on TV the other day. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. It's been the Low Definition Moment. Hello.